Hey guys, welcome back to Top Tipper Betting Tips. I trust you're having a fantastic evening and you're getting ready for the racing that's going to be taking place out at the Vol. Um, I'm going to hand you over to the postman for his um, analysis. So here's the postman. Good morning, good evening or good afternoon, no matter where in the world you guys are. And again, a big warm welcome to the Top Tipper family. Racing comes to us on Thursday the 8th of December and we're running on the Vol Classic track. We are nine races carded and the first event is due off at 12.15. Just going back to Tuesday guys, we tipped the place accumulator a couple of times. There were some rough results. Um, the value bet ran a drum, one ran 90 a place. So had you had punted properly, 10 wins, 20 places, you'd still be in the winner's enclosure. As I said, the first draw for 12.15, this is a weak uh, work rider's maiden plate, over 2,000 meters. Thank heavens this is not um, taking part of any of the exotics. My narrow first selection is horse two, this is top sale. Current favorite around about even money. Chama Mobaya gets a ride here for Paulie Matchett. Um, last time I just did finish second behind Celestial City. Um, if getting the additional 200 meters is certainly the horse to beat. But again, at even money, I certainly won't be climbing into that, especially in our work riders. For second, I've gone for horse number three, prime example. Trent Mayhew gets a ride here for Ashley Fortune. Last time out in our work riders, over 2,400 meters. Um, this one went off at 5 to 10, let the side down, set the pace, over raced and just plodded on for second. I think if Trent is able to hold this one up, um, let it stride freely, again, can certainly give the top of the board something to think about. For third, I've gone for number seven, Sassy, Jogan Greaser for Farney Broncos. This three-year-old filly certainly in with a tickle here. Um, Joe did ride this one four runs back over this course and distance, finishing second behind Ideal Future. Um, there was a support for him or for her on the day. And again, in this type of field, certainly uh, there and thereabouts. For fourth, we've gone for Nas Rafia, number eight, unapologetic. Tom LeKelly for uh, uh, Farney Broncos. This filly again carrying 54 and a half. Um, we go back and we look at four runs back, finish four and three quarter lengths to blue eruption. If um, she can reproduce that effort, certainly worth thrown in back ends of trifectas and quartets. So in an open event, we've gone two, three, seven and eight in the first race. Second race in the card, guys, you're for 12.50. Progress played for the girls over 1,450 meters. There are six horses carded here does not make it any easier in the bipod guys we're putting the field and hoping for um, the two roughies to arrive no matter what happens we are going to double up and my narrow first selection here anyhow is horse three homely girl Sianda Sasebo claiming his four kilos uh, for Johan Jansa van Furen I certainly think that um, the 1450 will suit this one down to the ground and is my narrow first selection. For second, I have gone for horse number four. This is Hollywood Bound. Gabriel Peterson retains a ride here for Roy Bankner. Gabriel rode this one last time out, finishing second behind Princess Philippa. I think this will employ the same tactics, jumps at handy. And again, I certainly think that this one will be there when the whips are cracking. For third, I've gone for horse number two, Marigold Hotel. Uh, Rachel Venneker gets a ride here for Sean Terry. Um, nice effort last time out. Um, over 1,600 meters in a grade two. Um, what's staying on? And again, in this field, certainly in with a tickle. For fourth, we've gone for horse number one, Sprinkles. I think this is the class horse of the race. Um, 1450 could be a touch sharp for this one but when we go back and we look did beat eternity ring over 1400 meters at turfentain in a feature race finished second two and a half lengths behind rain and holland um i know it's coming back from a 19-week layoff but 
Um, this is the class animal. And it's, as I said, I'm not taking any chances here, putting all six horses in the buy pot. And our selections here are three, four, two, and one. Third race from the card, first leg of the place accumulator, you're off at 13.25, a maiden plate for girls, again over 14.50 meters. I think this is another tough race. And my narrow first selection here is horse five, and this is Sky Velocity. Chase Mojan gets a ride here for Johan Janssen van Furen. Um, last effort was a decent effort. I think again, Chase will jump, and will not give up the barrier draw of one. He'll sit handy. And again, it should be there when the whips are cracking. For second, guys, I've gone for horse number seven. B and my bonnet. Dege de Gavea gets a ride here for Mike and Adam Azzi. Um, is coming back from a long layoff. But we see how well the stable's been going. And again, this one must be thrown in all exotics. For... Third, I've gone for horse number four, and this is Efficient Trader. Sianda Sasebo for the tarry yard, third run after arrest. Sianda will be claiming his four kilos. Two runs back, very, very decent effort behind Rennie. And again, I'm looking for another decent um, run from this daughter of Pomodoro. For fourth, I have gone for a nice rough here. This is horse number 11, Spirit Princess. JP van der Merwe for Mike and Adam as he has had two fair efforts, is coming back from a long rest of 19 weeks. But I see the Asbans throw the blinkers on. Maybe throw this one into back ends of Trifakers and Quartets. If it arrives, you'll be uh, one of very, very few um, that will be smiling. So the third race, guys, we've gone 5, 7, 4, and 11. The fourth race on the card. This is the first leg of our pick six. And in the fourth race, we find the first of our value bets. And the, just before we get on to that, the fourth race is due off at 2 o'clock, 1,400 hours, maiden plate, over 1,450 meters. And my first value bet is host number eight, Silvano Song. Randall Simons gets a ride here for Stewie Pettigrew. Last time out was his first run. Um, finished six and a half lengths behind run for cover, was drawn in the car park on that occasion. Um, I certainly believe that this one will have gained from that experience. And when we go and look four to one, I certainly think that um, this one is very, very nice value. Um, if this had no chance, I mean, we go and look 25 to one first time out, so there was... Uh, no interest in that, and I see, and I think that uh, Stewie gave this one a run, just to see how it would go, and I really believe that that run would bring this horse on. For second, we've gone for horse number seven. This is Pembroke Musieni for Mike de Kock. Um, also has had one run only. That was in a work riders. Um, I'm expecting improvement from this one here, and this is my second selection. For third, I've gone for horse number 10, and this is Alice May. Um, this is the second of the de Kock inmates in this race. Jared Penny gets a ride here. Um, again, two moderate efforts. Um, is drawn seven. Jockey's only ride on the day. And again, I think good enough to fill in back end of trifectas and quartets, carrying only 56 kilos. For fourth, I have gone for the top of the boards. Number five, bowl first. This is Henny Gerling for the Johan Janssen van Vieren yard. Um, had, has had one uh, fair effort over a thousand meters, finishing third on that occasion. Um, there was no support for this one. It did go off at 33 to 1. If seeing out the 1450, again, for me, back end of trifectas and quartets. So race four, I have gone... 8, 7, 10, 5, and I think 8 is very, a very nice value. We move on to the fifth race on the card. This is Geoff at 14.35, made ready 66 handicap, over 2,400 meters. Please take note, guys, in the fifth event, horse number one, flag bearer, has been scratched. When we went through this uh, race, 
There's several horses, namely two Liverpool Legends, three Cape Bouquet, five Twice Camden, and six Go uh, Dream Machine. They all ran the other day over, I think it was 2,800 metres. I think that this race has come too soon for these. Um, just watch for scratchings in the morning. Um, the other one there, the four, Monsieur Chevalier, is coming back from a 10-week layoff. Um, the eight, I think, won't see the distance. And for that reason, for um, my best bet on the card is horse number seven, Apache Fighter. This four-year-old filly of the Apache, Ray Danielson for Roy Magna Yard, carrying 56 on her back. Currently around about 18 to 10 or 19 to 10. Um, I think that this is the best bet on the card. As I said, the rest, I think the race has come too soon. Some of them will be needing the effort or, or, or the run. And if we can get 18 to 10, we certainly get, get stuck into that. For second, I have gone for the four. Uh, Monsieur Chevalier, Mark Kahn for the Matchet Yard. Mark has been riding very, very well. If not in need of the effort uh, of the run, um, certainly um, can go close at eight to one. For third, I've gone for the ultra consistent horse number three, Cape Bouquet. Um, Nathan Clink for Brett Weber. This did win last time out over 2,800 meters, but as I say, I think maybe the runs come too soon, but cannot be left out, uh, swingers and trifectas. For fourth, I've gone for six, Go Dream Machine, Ryan Munger for David Neverhazen. Again, as I said, I think the runs come too soon, but good enough to fill in one of the minor spots. Guys, I am, th I am of the opinion that one or two of these horses will be scratched in the morning, so please, please, please just take note um, before placing your bets. So race five, seven, four, three, six, and as I said, um, seven best bet on the card for me. We we'll move on to the sixth race on the card, Joe at 1510, graduation plate over 1200 meters. And a nice race, this one as well. Please take note, guys, there are two scratchings. Horse four, Ridge Runner, has been scratched. And horse 10, uh, Permiso Avanti, is scratched, leaving us with a field of eight. And um, I've gone for a value bet here. When I say value, it doesn't mean it's the highest price, but I think at this price, is great value, and this is horse number five, Munchkin. Munchkin round about 22 to 10. I think this is really, really good value. Um, Samanga Kamala retains a ride here for the Hudalakis yard. Um, won very, very well last time out. First time out, um, was expected to win, was beaten by a decent sort. When we go and we look through this uh, race, I think some of it's um, competitors are in need of the outing and I really think that 22 to 10 is great value. We're going to have some of that. For second, I've gone for number two. This is Texas Red. I don't think Texas Red is in the same class as Munchkin, um, but I think it's in with a chance. Ryan Munger for the Fortune Yard. Um, last time it was beaten by a very, very speedy sort. I think 1,200 meters will suit this one better and must be included in uh, trifectas, exactors, and swingers. For third, Grand Force number three, Golden Prospect. Um, this is Rachel Venica for the Terry Yard. We go and look, this has run to some very, very decent sorts. Um, Cousin Casey on two occasions and climate, beat, uh, climate control. I think that the 1200 meter may be a touch on the sharp side for this one, but again, um, certainly can fill in one of the minor spots. For fourth, I've gone for number six, COVID operator, Henny Gerling, uh, Rikitsi Radia for the Van Furen Yard. This one I made and last time out. Um, I'm looking at that four and, a, four and a half lengths to the Mauritian. I think that's a decent effort. Um, and again, maybe good enough for the back end of trifectas and quartets. So race six, guys, I've gone five, two, three, and six. And I think that five is a decent price at about 22 to 10. We'll move on to the seventh race on the card. Joff at 1545. Met rate at 72 handicap for the girls to be run over 1800 meters. And the seventh race, 
my narrow first selection yeah is horse number four that's the Rillian dancer chase Mazarin gets the ride here or retains the ride here for Fani broncos last time out was not a bad effort five less behind magical flight that was a stronger field than uh, she meets today and again must be there and thereabouts for second gone for the sixth stunning kitten rachel Venica gets a ride here for paulie matchett was not a bad effort last time out behind special charm i think that they will adopt the same tactics they jump they'll sit handy and um, take it from there draw nine out of ten i think will be very very lucky um, to win this one for third i've gone for the ten this is super secret Sianda Sasebo for uh, Fabian Habib. Sianda will be claiming he's or oh, three kilos. Please take note, not four. This one will be carrying 49. And we go back and we look two runs back. Two and a half and see Gilded Grey. Ran behind Rennie, drawn wide. Um, and I really believe that with 49 kilos, this one is good enough to fill in one of the minor spots. For fourth, I've gone for three, Summerland, Marco van Rensburg for the Spice Yard. Um, this one will jump, will set the pace, and I'm just hoping that three and six don't cut each other's throats, but maybe good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets. So the race seven guys, four, six, ten, and three. Move on to the eighth race on the card, two off at 16.15, merit rate is 66 handicap over 1600 meters again i think this is quite an open event and my narrow first selection is number one wandering star samango kamalo for st john gray um last effort was not too bad uh finishing five and a half lengths behind the pragmatist five and a half lengths behind clarkson those are fair efforts i think 1600 meters would suit this one um better than the 1800 meters of his last two runs and i make this my narrow first selection for second i've gone for horse number two this is a current favorite player calvin abib gets the ride here for candace dawson is going for three in a row um and again i think that this may be good enough to get there um the course may be running a bit quick for this one but but certainly cannot be left out of your permutations to throw this one in as well. For third, I've gone for number eight, the Thule, Caden Brewer for Fabian Habib. Um, this one is five kilos better off than players. So certainly um, will go a lot closer. Um, I think that this one, with carrying 55 and with Caden on the board, will not um, finish three lengths behind player again don't leave this one out for fourth gone for horse number four angel c jp van der Merberg gets your idea for mike de cock um they've thrown blinkers on this one and again when they do that take note include race eight one two eight and four if you're taking exotics um throw all four in move on to the lucky last guys race number nine this is due off at 16.45, merit rate at 80 handicap, over 1,600 meters. And then the lucky last, another very tough race. My narrow first selection here is horse number four, Twin Turbo. Kabila Matsyane for Fabian Habib. Kabila retains a ride. Um, I think they will jump, they will set the pace, and play catch me if you can. Um, good enough to uh, include in all exotics. For second, we've gone for seven, Duke of Rain. Samanga Kamala for Lucky Odalakis. Um, again, if Samanga wins the eighth race, I'm certainly going to have a go here in the ninth. And I th certainly think around about 61, this is worth throwing in all exotics. For third, I've gone for six, this is Ben and James. Ryan Munger for the Fortune Yard. They've taken the blinkers off this one. Um, Again, when the stable jock jumps back aboard, we have to take notes. If I'm looking for a negative, I think that the draw of 10 is a major negative for this one. But for larger perms, throw this one in. 
for fourth have gone for two in this night. JP van der Merwe for Candice Dawson. Um, second run after rest was a fair effort last time out with Gavin Arena aboard. Um, I think that this one will enjoy the 1600 meters. Nicely drawn at one. And certainly give a decent account of itself. So an open event, guys. I have gone four, seven, six, and two. Um, guys, please just check for jockey changes, check for scratchings, check for betting moves. Um, I do quite fancy the value bets and the best bets. I'm going to use them in all exotics. I'm going to go short in those legs and load up later on. As I said, guys, we do need um, some spare money. Christmas coming up. So let's hope like hell that we can crack it. And I'll ask you guys to take care, look after yourselves. And Stephen, back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for that, the postman. We appreciate your time and effort you put into your racing. You've tipped a nine-race program, your normal bar pot PA, your two value bets, your jackpot one and jackpot two. Please, Lord, let them arrive, and let's keep our hot streak going forward for the punters so they can make some fantastic Christmas money. All in all, enjoy, have fun, break a leg, and cheers for now.